I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 7th of October. As expected, a little warmer today, and the warming trend continues into the weekend. And still, we're looking for rain. We could use some. Let's look at some of the images around the network this afternoon. First off, from Inverness. Folks out on Highway 280, about 2.30 this afternoon, a bright sunny day with temperatures mostly in the low 80s. That's the Demopolis sky cam overlooking the Tom Bigby River in West Alabama. And on the eastern side of the state, the view coming from Cheehaw State Park, Alabama's highest peak in that park. The elevation at the top is 2,407 feet. And we note some fall colors beginning to show up up there nicely on a gorgeous fall day. The big upper low that was over Washington and Baltimore is opening up and lifting out. And the winds aloft here are light, and we are warmer today. Look at those low and mid-80s, 84 for Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, and Gadsden at 2 o'clock. Anniston, 82. Now, we're talking mostly mid-80s over the next couple of days. But the humidity stays low. Night's cool. Not too bad. Around the nation, you can see that kind of uh, warm spot there from Memphis back over to Oklahoma City and Amarillo. Noticeably cooler out west underneath that cold core upper low over Nevada. And rain, yeah, we're just having a hard time finding any for the next five days. This fell out through Tuesday morning of next week, suggesting zero, not a drop. We might see a few showers later in the day Tuesday, just beyond this period, but nothing to write home about. And the tropics, uh, Otto is east of the Bahamas. Subtropical storm, Otto, not a classic tropical system. And a disturbance down there in the uh, southwest Caribbean. Otto is no threat to the United States. That thing is going to roll on to the northeast, headed for the Azores by early next week. We'll check the uh, GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Big vortex over eastern Canada. Shortwave coming out of the Rockies. That's what's left of the big upper low out there. And down below that for us, the sensible weather not changing a whole lot. We stay dry and warm with highs in the uh, mid-80s. Both uh, models are showing 86 tomorrow. And I'll tell you what, now both models are printing upper 80s on Saturday. Might have considered that uh, since numbers today have come on up. In fact, the uh, GFS is showing 89 on Saturday and Sunday. So it's going to be awfully warm. But again, the humidity values stay low. Monday of next week, trough developing aloft, off to the west. Got a southwest flow aloft here, but no moisture to work with. And Tuesday, with a trough coming through, that's just not very impressive. And again, somebody somewhere might see a shower Tuesday, but prospects of beneficial rain are just not that good. Wednesday, we dry out from whatever light rain shower action we saw there on Tuesday. And Thursday, the trough sharpens up over the east again, and that will deliver a new surge of cooler air a week from today. The isobars are perpendicular to the thickness lines, so uh, the weather turns noticeably cooler in about a week. So out there nine more days, the end of the forecast, the 23rd of October. Woo, that looks chilly, doesn't it? Big, deep, cold trough over the east. And uh, down below that, uh, hey, suggesting some rain with that cold front and then much colder. Look at the northerly flow in the backside of that thing, the 540 line down into Kentucky. That would suggest snow falling around the Great Lakes. So, goodness, that might bring some frost those Halloween pumpkins, if indeed that verifies later this month. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faith. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's News Leader.